Understanding Pressure Independent Control Valves PICV, and Their Working Principles PICV, Pressure Independent Control Valve, is a type of control valve that maintains a constant flow rate regardless of changes in pressure. PICV Valve Cross Section FCU PICV Valve Kit Components of PICV Valve Kit PICV Valve the PICV valve itself is the central component of the kit, and it's what controls the flow of water or air through the system. Two dot isolation valves. Isolation valves may be included in the kit to provide a means of shutting off the water supply to the FCU unit during maintenance or repairs. Three dot strainer. A strainer may be included in the kit to prevent debris from entering the PICV valve and damaging it. 4. The flushing bypass. It is a PICV FCU kit lets water or air bypass the valve during cleaning, with a valve lever for higher flow rates and pressure. This extends the valve's life and enables cleaning without disrupting normal flow. There are several types of PICV valves available, each with its own unique set of pros and cons. Ball Valve PICV Globe Valve PICV Butterfly Valve PICV Diaphragm Valve PICV Ball Valve PICV Ball Valve PICVs are commonly used in small to medium-sized HVAC systems such as in individual room temperature control or in hydronic heating systems. Globe Valve PICV Globe Valve PICVs are often used in larger HVAC systems, such as in commercial buildings or hospitals, where precise flow control is critical for maintaining occupant comfort and safety. Butterfly Valve PICV Butterfly valve PICVs are frequently used in HVAC systems, such as in air handling units or chilled water systems, where flow control is required but space is limited. Diaphragm valve PICV Diaphragm valve PICVs are often used in HVAC systems, such as in variable air volume systems, where precise flow control is necessary at low pressure differentials. Here is we see how it works. Point 1 Differential Pressure Control As the flow rates in the distribution pipe work fluctuate to match demand, the available pressure at individual terminal unit varies. This variation in available pressure has the effect of changing the flow rate through the terminal subcircuit. Example, an increase in pressure gives an increased flow rate. To neglect these fluctuating pressure, the PICV maintains a constant pressure drop across its seat P1 to P2, therefore maintaining a constant flow rate to the terminal. Point to flow regulation. The PICV adjusts flow rate by changing the open space for water flow and maintains a constant pressure drop across its seat through a differential pressure controller. Setting a new flow rate involves adjusting the open area around the disc, which recreates a constant seat differential pressure. Once set, the flow rate remains constant. Point 3 Comfort Control The use of a PICV, as with all two port control valves, allows for the variation of the flow rate to vary the heat output of the terminal unit. The PICV is an integral part of the control loop. Point 4 Thermostat, BMS, PICV and Terminal Unit By varying the flow rate we can control the heat of the terminal. For PICVs with an equal percentage characteristic, there is a direct relationship between valve position and heat output. I half open is equal to half heat output. Thanks for watching. I hope this video useful for you. Please subscribe and press notify icon. For more HVAC related videos.